cat 22 aspirants hardly 16 or 17 days to cat some of you out there have been asking me questions like how to prepare for quant verbal ability and data interpretation in the last 15 odd days so i thought the best way to answer is through videos so if you wish to know what to do in the last 15 odd days with respect to quantitative aptitude with respect to verbal ability with respect to data interpretation subscribe to our channel pathfinder for me and stay tuned watch this video till the very end and we will talk about how to pace your studies in the last 15 odd days today's video is on the topic of quantitative aptitude for cat 2022 last 15 day strategy but if you are a cat 23 aspirant and yahan pe galti se aage ho to chinta mat karo aap yahan pe subscribe to pathfinder for me subscribe to mend your math you can join our whatsapp channel you can join our telegram channels also and everywhere there will be something which will help you in your cat preparation for over the next one year and if you wish to inquire about our courses for cat 2023 you're more than wel welcome to inquire about them in fact our year-long self-paced CAT preparatory course has already started. You can contact us on these numbers 93439-21347-9522-92468. So let us get started. The first thing that you should look at once again is the paper pattern. And look at this paper pattern. Uh, arithmetic over the last six years from 2017 to 2021. In fact, we have an analysis for the last 20 years. I'm only sharing this analysis for the last 20 years. What has been asked? Historically, what have they tested on, quant on quantitative aptitude in CAT? Look at arithmetic. The percentage has varied from, from a minimum of 38 to a maximum of 45. You can safely assume that 40% of the questions will still be from arithmetic section. Similarly, you have geometry ranging from 17% to 23% and you can assume that geometry will be in within these limits only. The same thing applies for algebra from 17 to 20%. Numbers and counting from 17% to 26%. So you can see that 40% of the weightage is for arithmetic and the rest of it will be hovering around 20% each. Now, when I use the word geometry, it doesn't mean geometry alone. Geometry could mean geometry, trigonometry, coordinate geometry and mensuration. When I use the word algebra, it implies equations, inequations, functions, set theory, APGP and so on. And similarly, when I use the words numbers and counting, it will include permutation, combination, probability and number theory. So, no matter what you will study or no matter what happens, these trends are likely to continue because this is not a short term trend. This is not a trend of the last five, six years. I have seen a similar trend over the last 20 odd years. So you can assume safely that similar pattern is going to be followed. So next, let us have a look at the topics which you should focus on in the last 15 odd days. And when I say topics you should focus on, I'll come to what I mean by focusing on a particular topic. The first thing is, you know, under arithmetic, definitely you should complete the entire section of arithmetic. You should not leave out anything because you don't know from which three or four areas they will ask you questions. Last year, there were questions on per percents, interests, mixtures and time and work. And I think even time and distance. So variations was left out. I, I don't think I, I saw a question on profit and loss yesterday. But this varies from year to year and hence you should complete the entire arithmetic section because maximum weightage of 40% and you know around that 40% mark is for arithmetic. Don't leave anything in arithmetic. So whether you are starting out, whether you have completed arithmetic, make sure you revise a few questions on arithmetic in the last 15 days. Then out of the remaining three, I have seen geometry questions regularly. In fact, almost every year you will see questions of geometry. Almost every year you will see questions in equations and inequations. And almost every year you will see questions either on permutation combination or on number theory. 
one of them. So you will find questions based on these almost every year. So make sure that you focus at least on these topics. If I were you, I would also take care to ensure that I solve some basic questions from each and every area because you don't know which topic will have an easy question from. You know, you could, you could have an easy question from algebra sometimes, you could have an easy question from arithmetic, you don't know that. And hence, I suggest that some simple questions could be solved from all topics, but as far as focus is concerned, you can focus on arithmetic, on geometry, on equations, uh, on uh, either permutation combination or number systems. So these are the topics to focus on. Plus, you could also focus on topics from where you, there hasn't been a question in the last two, three years. Now, I believe, you know, I have not seen many questions on set theory in the last two, three years. I have not seen many questions on time and distance also in the last few years. I have not seen many questions on profit and loss in the last few years. And I have not seen many questions even on uh, permutation combination and probability. I saw one last year but not many, many questions on these topics. So probably you could also, you know, focus on a couple of topics where, from where questions have not been asked in the last two, three years. This is how you go about focusing on a particular topic. Next, what is the meaning of focusing on a particular topic? Does it mean solving all the questions that we've solved through the year once again? <laughs> Obviously not. You won't have the time for all that. And at the same time, you also have to focus on verbal ability and data interpretation and reasoning. So when I say focus on a particular topic, there are three things you need to primarily do. Go to your basic sheet for a particular topic. Solve all questions which you had trouble with when you started solving the basic sheet, number one. Number two, make sure that you, you are able to solve very, very fundamental question very quickly. In fact, you can solve them within 10, 10, 12 seconds. The second thing you need to do is look at your mock tests. You know, pull out all the questions from all the mocks that you've done, which belong to that particular topic, solve them. And if you still have time, then solve actual CAD paper, you know, questions from actual CAD papers. This will really help you come to terms with questions on par with the CAD questions. Now, when I say focus on a particular topic, this is what you need to do. Because you have 15 days, probably one or two days you can focus on each topic. Next, the do's and don'ts. So, do's, as I said, go through the basic formulae and properties for every topic, no matter how, how well you know it. Focus on shortcuts that you have acquired from anywhere in the last one year. Don't try to acquire new shortcuts because shortcuts is a risky proposition. You know, you should apply shortcuts only if your fundas are, uh, if your fundas are good. If you try to apply shortcuts without understanding them, you might make mistakes. So just try to recall, try to revise whatever shortcuts you've learned. See in under what situations you can apply those shortcuts. Make sure you know under what situations you do not apply those shortcuts. You know, both these things are necessary. And obviously solve questions from mocks and actual cats and what about the door don'ts don't try to solve questions from random resources you know we are we live in a digital world you have access to all the material that you have that you can think of now one mistake that people make is they start solving questions from random sources don't solve questions from random sources because that will not help you in cat cat is not a test of your mathematical ability it is a test of your mathematical ability applied within a certain time limit so you know that is what aptitude is so if you try to solve questions of the level of toughness of GEE it is not going to prepare you for CAD because these two questions types are fundamentally different so don't try to solve questions from random sources focus on solving a few questions well with good understanding and with good speed and your focus should be on understanding well. Your focus should be on quality of the solution rather than just solving question mindlessly. And please do not look for additional material to solve last 15 days. You're supposed to revise whatever you've done in the last three months, four months, one year, 
whatever period you've been preparing for CAD. So I, I believe that these are the things that you should be doing in the last few days. And if you are someone who has just started preparing for CAT, comment in the comment box below and I'll come out with another video telling you what you could do in the last 15 days. If you are a CAT 23 aspirant and you chanced upon this video, you can just subscribe to our channels Pathfinder for me, Mend Your Maths. You could also join our WhatsApp groups or in Telegram channel for CAT 23 preparation. And in case you want to know about our wonderful courses for CAT 2023, you're welcome to inquire about them on these numbers 9343921347, With this, we come to an end of this session. I thank you very much for listening me out patiently. All the best.